chip. I agree with that one. There's another point for Margaret. Still no gift cards, little upset. Um, I mean, if you all think I'm getting gift cards, I might as well get gift cards. Come on, Margaret, send me something. Girl, I'll send you any which any which one of the addresses you want. Or actually, can you just wire it into the apartment, uh, into the bank? I don't want you knowing where I live, girl. But I mean, I have security and doorman and things at all three places. So, I mean, no one can show up and, you know, whatever. Okay, now, R-H-O-C, babies, babies, babies. Let's do it very quickly. Um, This one scene between Tamara and Shannon, where they break it down. And I mean, Shannon is just going off, you know? I mean, not Shannon's just going off. Tamara's just going off. I think Tamara's being a mean girl. I mean, I get what she's doing, but this whole thing about like, yeah, and you wake up and is that after you have a drink and, you know, now she's, and she brings up the DUI and she brings up her crashing her car. And then, you know, Shannon says like, you drink a lot too. And she's like, I didn't crash my car. I mean, I guess she showed a moment of sympathy when she talked about the lawsuit from John Jansen, but I mean, Tamara goes low, which we all know she's a rat and she's a rat that scurries. During the live show with all the questions you guys can ask, I don't know who it was, but someone said, can you talk about the rat that scurries? Can you do it? It's our favorite part of your whole show. And the tail goes, because it's like she's on the mood. I had to do that on the spot during the live show, which is hard I gotta feel the moment the rat doesn't always come out just like morgan wade we haven't had a visit from morgan wade around here lately we'll have to do that when sarah's here but the rat that scurries who loves her good in the corner she is a rat it is true it is true it is true i mean does any and i'm really asking this not to bring her down really i'm it's just a true question teresa versus melissa you guys are gonna die on that sword 50 percent of you hate Teresa. You actually hate her. 50% of you are huggers. You're in the back. I see you huggers. Uh, ooh, I'm doing a show tomorrow. Don't miss our Monday show tomorrow. Everyone, this is true. If you are a tree hugger, I want you first to raise your hand. I second want you to stand up. And now I want you to remain standing. All you guys in the back, stay standing. Oh, we have some tree huggers down front. Everyone who is a tree hugger, tomorrow's show, tomorrow, Monday, the 26th of August, tomorrow's show for all you tree huggers is actually going to make you happy. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't pander to the audience and I just speak my mind and what's on it. Well, I have some good stuff to say about the huggers. I have good stuff to say about the hu huggers. Um, I got some, you're going to be happy with my thoughts tomorrow. So that's the news for the huggers tomorrow. But with Tamara, unlike this 50-50, does anyone out there listening like Tamara? And I am not trying to sway you. I'm not trying to be mean or rude or snarky. I truly want people just want to know, like, do you like the rat that scurries? Am I too hard on Tamara? Uh, am I too hard on the Tam rat? Uh, should I not be this hard on her? I do think she makes good TV. I mean, look, she's not in jeopardy of losing her job. I still predict at this point, everyone will be back next season on RHOC. Katie, come on now, get in there, girl. You're, I like you, but get in there, Katie. You can't just keep with this stuff off air. She just said her ex-husband and something with a custody and this and that. And you got to bring it on to the thing, Katie. Come on now, girl. Come on. Um... So there's that, uh, there's that, um, but I think everyone's going to be back. So anyway, my point is, the point I'm trying to make is, uh, this was a hard scene to watch. I really, really think that Shannon is handling herself well this season. I really, she doesn't scream. She's trying to explain to Tamara, you know, look, uh, you got to give her credit because I just would have told the rat that scurry to go fuck herself. But where she's like, I have two drinks at most. Now, yeah, I know. And then Sam was saying, you know, an alcoholic hides a drink and this and that. Like she ain't playing. Um, she ain't playing around, uh, Miss Rat. But um, so she ain't playing. But um, it was a hard scene. And I think Shannon is handling herself so well when she gets up and she just walks out and she's like, I'm going to excuse myself now. She is having a great season. 
I feel maybe this crash, it was probably the best thing that ever happened to Shannon. I think that, uh, I think that she's just handling herself really, really well. I don't know. Really weird season. I'm liking Emily and Gina. I'm apologizing to them. I've already apologized to them. They have been on the show longer than most people last. Uh, maybe I was too hard on the pedantry. I like, I think she's very attractive. She has the hot husband. I think she is sweet. She's a, just the right amount of delusional with like the Rolex and this and that and don't pay the rent, but keep the Rolex. And I mean, I'm not selling any of my Rolexes anytime soon, guys. So uh, I, I get it, pedantry. I get it. You know, I do have one watch that I want to sell because I not a Rolex. I want something else. And uh, then why? Rolex holds its value. Um, I like the OC. So good for you, Shannon. This scene... Didn't really break my heart because Shannon is holding her own. It was a great scene. And um, apparently the video we learned, and then we have to go. This is way over, just a quick hit. The video of, uh, we learned that Alexis is threatening to release uh, about Shannon is apparently she tried to hit John Jansen's daughter. I mean, I don't think on accident with the car the night of the DUI and Miss Emily Simpson, the counselor, is shocked to hear this news. RHOC, guys, we're going to keep talking about it in detail, not just little quick hits. We're going to break it all down. We just put the live show on Patreon this past week, the first hour of it, so you can hear all the questions if you haven't. Guys, that's a lot of shady shit. Love you all. Tomorrow, tree huggers, you're going to be happy. Not doing it for you. I give my real honest opinions, and I got some stuff that's going to make you happy about your queen tomorrow. And listen to uh, Vargas earlier today. I love you all. I love you all. Do we like just David? Do we like the quick hits? I think you do. Love you all. I am humbled to serve all of you, entertain all of you. When people slip into my DMs, I got one yesterday. Some girl said uh, that she's just been so, and I answer as many as I can, but I answer her, that she has just been so sad in life. Just sad. There's no real explanation. It's not, I don't need to ask why. Uh, it's none of my business, but that she's just been so sad. And I think it actually was about the rat that scurries and that when I said the rat that scurries, she spit out her tea and never laughed so hard. So that is just why, look, I can't tell you that's why I do this job. Cause I mean, let's face it. I wouldn't do this job if I wasn't getting paid, but I actually do have a heart when I receive DMS like that. And I have received other DMS that people are, someone just said they're going through cancer treatments and they listen to this podcast when they get the chemo every Friday. And so stuff like that does warm my heart, but don't tell anyone I have one. Love you all. It's Sunday. The summer is going to end. So hopefully you're out enjoying yourself. Love you all. And I will speak to you soon. We got to cut these quick hits in half. Bye.